When I was asked by Teachers TV to present a masterclass in maths, I chose to teach a lesson about equations. My students are Year 9s from two North London schools. Let's go. Take your t-shirt off. Put your t-shirt on. We've got t-shirts on today. Some of you have got numbers on. Some of you have got... Oh, stand up, Mitchell. What's that? It's a plus. A plus sign, an operating sign. You've got an X on. Oh, it looks a curly X. A curly X. And you've got, uh, ah, you've got um, a straight X. Do you think that's a times? Yeah. yeah. Could be easily confused. What do you think this curly X is then? A variable. A variable. All these letters are variables. What does variable mean? It could be anything. It could be anything. Shout it. It could be anything. Very important. It could be anything. We don't know. Can we have the person who's wearing two? That's Kishan. OK, up you come. Two. Uh, we'll have you times uh, two times T, I think. Yeah, up you come. Two times T. OK, what have we got now, then? Two times T. What's the answer to two times T? Two T. Two T. What do you mean, two T? What's happened to the times? It's not needed. It's not needed because it looks a bit like Ben's, doesn't it? Stand up, Ben. It looks like that curly X, doesn't it? So we don't want to get confused. In fact, you can sit down, Rohan. 2t means 2 times t. This is an expression. OK, so what's the answer to 2t? 2t. 2t. Because there's no answer, is there? OK, 2 times t. Ah, but if I said t was 12, what would the answer to 2t be then? 24. The value of 2t would be 24. Excellent. OK. Plus, up you come. Let's have some fun. 2t plus uh, 3, I think. Yeah, up you come. I knew you were itching to come up. OK, what have we got now? 2t plus 3. Is this an expression? Yeah. yeah. OK, how many terms has this expression got? Two. Two terms, OK. What are the terms, then? 2t and 3. OK, 2t and 3. Brilliant, OK. Uh, can we simplify that anymore? No. no. OK. No, no, no. Now, then. Do you like that? Yeah. yeah. Equals yeah. <laughs> OK, I, can, uh, I want another number first. Uh, 11. Can you come up? Right, Samuel's 11. What have we got now? Equation. Why is it an equation? Because it's got an equal sign. It's an equal sign! Woo! It's an equal sign, OK? So we've got an equation. Who can solve the equation? T equals 4. four. Let's just check that one then, OK? So we've got 2 times 4, that's 8, plus 3 equals 11. Hey, I like this. I tell you what, can you sit down? Can we have a 5 up here, see if it still works? You're very good. OK, 2t plus 5 equals 11. What's the value of t now? T equals three. Brilliant. I'm really happy with that. Thanks a lot, guys. Sit down, please. Brilliant. Fantastic. Give them a round of applause. Absolutely. OK. Now then, welcome to my Equality Streets. Oh, I thought you'd be impressed. I've opened up this new shop. As you can see, it's got a range of things on it. We have, we've got these lovely oranges. Look at these. Who fancies an orange? Woohoo! That's a round of applause, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Have an orange. Have an orange. OK, but most important of all, we've got some chocolate. Brilliant. Oh. Excellent. Now then, now then. The people who are wearing yellow T-shirts, did you feel a bit left out? Yeah. You weren't getting very involved, were you? Come on, give them a round of applause. <laughs> right then. OK, Agni, could you stand right next to me? Right up to next to me. Brilliant. So, Agni. You are very, very generous because, do you know what? You're going to buy all your friends some chocolate. What does Agni need to buy some chocolate with? Money. Money. Oh, yeah. Uh, I knew there was something. Ah, there you go. There's your pound. Sorted. Uh, I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's come to my shop, so she's got to give me the pound, hasn't she? Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks, Agni. Brilliant. Great. Uh, do you want something back? Yes, please. What do you want? Chocolate. Oh, chocolate, of course. So, I'll take the pound. And I'm going to give you in return uh, one, pass them on, two, three, four, five, and oh, uh, five chocolate bars, and you've got some change as well, that's right. 20p, you can have that, hold the change. I feel, ready, an equation coming on. 
Okay. Five chocolate bars per 20 pence is equal to a pound, and you're saying each chocolate bar is? 16 pence. 16 pence. How did you work that out? I turned the one pound into a hundred pennies, took away 20 from it, which is 80p, then um, I divided it by five, which is 16. Superb. Let's just make this absolutely clear what's going on. Who's got the plus, the plus t-shirt? Oh, it's you again, isn't it? Okay, could you stand between Agni, okay, and Rangela, okay? So we've got five chocolate bars plus 20 pence equals a pound. The first thing we do is take away the 20 pence, isn't it? So, what we do to the... Left hand side. We must always do to the right. The same thing to the right. Okay, so let's take away 20p from both sides. Thank you very much. Okay, and we don't need the plus sign anymore, do we? Give me a little ripple if you want. Yeah. Um, so, oh, I had a pound coin, so I need to take 20, 20p off that to get. What have I got now? 80p. 80p. Is it 80p? Yeah. Is it 80p, Rena? Yeah. Will you do me a favour and hold it for me and come up to the front? OK, so Rena's now got me 80 pence. So I want to see what I'm doing here. Yep, five chocolate bars equals 80 pence. Right, how can we turn these five chocolate bars here into one chocolate bar? We divide it by five, don't we? We divide by five. Excellent. So we'll divide this side by five. So you, you, you and you take your chocolate bars and sit down. OK. We're left with one chocolate bar on the left-hand side of the equation. And what must we do to the right-hand side? Divide by five. Divide by five. 80 divided by five. Equals So you take your 10, your five, and your one. Of course, we've got one chocolate bar, which is equal to 16. Give me the money and sit back down. Thank you very much. You can take your chocolate. OK, now then. You know that I also sell Fruits. Now look, I've got one, two, three, four bags of apples, okay? Could you tell me how many um, apples are in all four bags? What's the total number of apples, yeah? Four A. Four A, brilliant, okay. We've got the same number of apples in each bag, but some of the apples are good, and some of the apples are bad. And I don't know how many are good or bad in each bag. Hmm, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put my apples in here. How many apples in each bag? A. A. Good. How many apples in total? Four. Excellent. Right, let me see. Where are these bad apples? Aha! I found some. That's one bad apple. Is that one, two, three, four. Aha! I knew there was one hiding. Five bad ones. Uh, who can tell me an expression now for the number of good apples? that are in this box that I'm leaning on? 4A minus 5. 4A. 4A minus 5. Why 4A minus 5? There are five bad apples. OK. So then you took five apples out, so I took five apples away from the term. OK, from the 4A term, which was the total number of apples we decided were in all the bags, wasn't it? 4A minus 5. Excellent. OK, uh, 4. Uh, ooh, where's that A? A, Vista, up you come. So you can stand here. Just stand here, a bit further along. Brilliant. Four, A, five, Clint, up you come. Four, A, minus five. Is that right? Yeah. Do you agree with me? Minus. Where's that minus gone? Brilliant. Minus sign. Give me a round of applause. <laughs> Woo! We've got there in the end. Four, A, minus five. Phew. Now, let's have a look. Let's see how many good apples were in the box. Ben? Could you help me? Let's bring the box out here. Ben? On your knees, Ben. Count them up. 19. 19 good apples. So, let's solve the equation. Should we do that? What should we do to both sides? You have to put plus on the other side. Right. What, what will plus 5 do? Um, it will make... It will make 4A the subject. What, you mean you just have 4A on the left-hand side? Yeah. Right, and you'd get rid of the minus 5. Yeah. So to get rid of a minus 5, we have to... Add, add 5. Add 5. OK, and what we do on the left-hand side... Must be on the right-hand side. OK, let's add 5. Goodbye. Goodbye. OK, we need to add 5 to 19 to get... Hey, Yusuf, 24. Up you come. Can you sit down, please? Thanks. Yusuf. So we've got 4A equals 24. OK, and what do we need to do both sides of the equation now? 
four. Divide by four on both sides. Excellent. So you sit down, Esther. 24 divided by four equals six. six. Up you come. Put your clipboard down. So A equals six. Group together, girls. OK, A equals six. The number of apples that were in each bag to start with was? Six. Yay, we've used the equations to solve the problem. Do you know what? We've done really well. I think you two can sit yourselves down, give them a round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause. And I think we should just relax. Problem my mum. Hello? <laughs> no, but it wasn't my fault, boss. <sighs> he says, you can't sell bad apples in your shop, so you've got to close it down. Aww. I was going to build a shop on the other side of the road as well, because what I add to one side, I always... Add to the other. Oh, no, that's my plan, room, but never mind, because I've got a new job! Yeah. Yeah. Here we are in my park. I've always wanted to work in the fresh air. Do you like my gear? Yeah. Do you like my park? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's quite small, that's the only problem. I want to make it much bigger. I want to make it into a nice, big, rectangular shape. Um, the only thing is, I'm really fussy. I want the length of my park to be 200 metres longer than the width. OK. Should we call the width something? W. W for width. Yep. That's a good idea. Do you want to write W on the board? So we can call the width W, OK? Just write W, where do you think? Go for it. That's spot on. Could we write the W on the other side? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah why not? OK, so we could call the width W. Um, what could we call the length? L. We could call the length L. Can you remember my fact? The length has to be 200 metres more than the width. Absolutely. Who can think of an expression with W in it? based upon that fact. L equals W plus 200. Length equals W plus 200. So I think what? Do you know what? Instead of writing L, we'll write... W. W plus 200. Plus 200. Excellent. Now then, I want to put a big fence right around the perimeter of my park, OK? What does perimeter mean? Um, it's the length around the shape. All the way around the shape. The length all the way around. Good. So, can we write down on our pads an expression for the total length of fencing that I need. OK, so what have we got here? 4W plus 400. Excellent. So that represents the length of fencing that would be required. Now, the only problem is I've only got enough money to buy mm, a kilometre of fencing. Can we form an equation and solve it to find the width of my park? OK, what have you got? Emile's written. 4W plus 400 equals... Talk us through it, Emil. 1,000. Well, um, 1,000 a, a thousand is, uh, well, one kilometre, and um, 4W plus 400, it, so it would be an exact kilometre around for his fencing, which, how much he, he could afford. So that's the perimeter should equal how much fencing he can afford. Excellent. So what you're saying there is that there's 1,000 metres in a kilometre. Yep. 4W plus 400 equals 1,000. Very good. What's your line of working you've got, Agni? I did 4W equals 1,000 take away 400. Yep. Which equals 600. Brilliant. 4W equals 600. And then to finish off... Right, divide 600 by 4. OK, so we divide 600 by 4. And that will get us W. OK, so you do that then, Emil. So 1W equals 100 and... OK, we've solved the problem almost. The width has got to be 150 metres. How long does it need to be? 350 metres. Why 350? Yep. Because it's 200, 200 metres longer than the width. Absolutely. So 150 plus 200 is 350. Does that work? Yeah. 350, 150. Let's add them up all the way around. What do we get? 1,000. Problem solved. I'm really looking forward to building this park, you know. What do I need in a park? What else do I need? Look at a playground. A playground. I was thinking of making two big play areas. The first play area I was thinking about, I want it to be triangular. 